Astrud Gilberto, a Brazilian singer and songwriter, has passed away at the age of 83. Her English-language cameo on the hit song, The Girl from Ipanema, propelled her to international fame. On Tuesday, her granddaughter Sofia Gilberto posted on social media to confirm her grandmother's passing. Forever and always, Sofia wrote, she loved Astrid. She became widely recognized as the Bossa Nova gender spokesperson. We shall always hold Astrid dear. Gilberto, who was born in the state of Bahia and raised in Rio de Janeiro, became an overnight sensation in 1964 when the producers of the classic Bossa Nova album, Getz slash Gilberto, which featured Stan Getz and her then-husband Jaw Gilberto, recruited him because of his limited but sufficient command of the English language. Antonio Carlos Jobim and Vinicius de Mora's melancholy song, The Girl from Ipanema, was a smash in South America before it was ever released in the rest of the world. Creed Taylor, the record's producer, and others believe the album's reach could be broadened by featuring singing in both Portuguese and English. The words of Astrid Gilberto, as translated by Norman Gimbel from the Portuguese, would stand out among others of the era. She was tall, tanned, youthful, and beautiful. The Ipanema girl takes a stroll. Moreover, after she dies, everyone she walks by exclaims, ah. The song's success outside of Brazil spread the fusion of jazz and samba known as bossa nova. More than two million copies of Getz slash Gilberto were sold, and the single version of The Girl from Ipanema, with simply Astrid Gilberto's vocals, quickly became a classic, frequently coming in second only to Yesterday by the Beatles in terms of how often it has been performed in popular music. In 1965, three Grammys were awarded to the album Get Slash Gilberto, making it the first jazz album to win Album of the Year. Both Gilberto and his vocal performance were nominated for awards as Best New Artist. Although de Mores wrote the songs about a Brazilian teenager named Heloisa Anita Menezes Paz Pinto, the poised, dark-haired singer was so firmly connected with the girl from Ipanema that others felt she was the inspiration. In 1965, she released her debut self-titled album, which included Antonio Carlos Dobim. Over the course of the following few years, Gilberto played with the likes of Stan Getz and published eight albums, including both English and Portuguese language tracks. However, she only released seven more albums after 1969, and by 2002, she had effectively retired from the industry and stopped giving interviews, instead devoting her time to animal rights activism and the visual arts. She claimed that Taylor and Getz, who she said called her just a housewife, took undue credit for discovering her and that she had gotten no compensation for her work on The Girl from Ipanema. Legendary bossa nova musician Joao Gilberto passed away in 2019. Thanks for watching.